Well, Prime Minister uh, Albanese assured Prime Minister Modi when he visited India in, Feb in March that uh, in Australia we believe people have a right to practice their religion uh, without interference. And Prime Minister Albanese committed to ensure that our security forces, including our police, state police forces, took every possible action when vandalism occurred to track down those responsible and to prosecute them. And I'm confident that that will happen. So strongly supports India's G20 presidency is because of its understanding of the need to deliver equitable, sustainable growth across the world. India-Australian relationships at an enormous high when vandalism occurred to track down those responsible and to prosecute them. And I'm confident that that will happen. How do you think uh, the Prime Minister Modi's visit to Australia will further strengthen the already established relationship between Australia and India? Well, the India-Australian relationships at an enormous high. Uh, Indian migration to Australia is the fastest growing migration from any other country in the world and that's having a huge impact on our relationship. It's strengthening our trade and economic relationship. Uh, it is furthering uh, our people to people links through education and through culture. It's ensuring that we're doing more in relation to defence uh, and security uh, and of course we're working through the Quad on a whole range of issues including climate change and clean energy uh, and I think all those things are now being boosted in Australia by a growing diaspora that not only opens up the eyes of Australians to opportunities uh, in India, but also reminds their friends and relatives in, Australia, in, in India of the opportunities, particularly in education, uh, that are on offer in Australia. India is the chair of G20, as you mentioned, and before it culminates in Delhi in September, PM Modi has a slew of events lined up, one is quad. How do you think that this summit, according to you, will navigate India's strategically uh, autonomous position in the Ukraine war? I don't think there's anything that's inconsistent with what the Quad has done in the past, which is to recognise that each country has a different perspective, or has, has their own perspective. And one of the th reasons that Australia so strongly supports India's G20 presidency is because of its understanding of the need to deliver equitable, sustainable growth across the world. And India's focus on sustainable development goals as part of its G20 presidency is something that Australia welcomes, something that Australia is working hard within the G20 year this year to help India achieve. Vandalism of Hindu temples in Australia has always been a key concern for India. Do you think that it will be, uh, if there will be any bilateral between the Australian PM and Indian PM, there would be a discussion on that, like we recently saw vandalism of BAPs in Western Sydney? Well, Prime Minister uh, Albanese assured Prime Minister Modi when he visited India in, Feb in March that uh, in Australia we believe people have a right to practice their religion uh, without interference. And Prime Minister Albanese committed to ensure that our security forces, including our police, state police forces, took every possible action when vandalism occurred to track down those responsible and to prosecute them. And I'm confident that that will happen. You know, the point I make on perhaps the broader issue is that, as my foreign minister said when she was here in March, uh, unofficial referenda have no legal standing in Australia and Australia continues to respect and stand by India's sovereignty and its sovereign borders.